Hello, my name's Emma Critchley and this is my story of how I'm dealing with bowel cancer. The doctor initially wasn't very concerned at all. He um, thought that I, had, I probably had IBS. So he um, gave me some medicine for IBS and he said that he would um, just run some tests just to be on the safe side. Um, so he did some blood tests and he did some stool sample tests and he sent me away thinking that they would come back proving that yeah, it was nothing to worry about. At that point, I was going to the toilet about 12 times a day. So I was very worried that, yeah, that that was going to be my life. But I also knew that seeing blood wasn't normal and wasn't IBS. And when I went into hospital to have my colonoscopy, um, that's when I saw on the screen for the first time um, my growth and uh, it, at the time, it felt like the room went silent. Um, I remember going in and Queen, uh, music from Queen was playing on the background. Um, and it's probably my imagination, but when the screen came up and the growth was there, it felt like the whole room just went completely silent because everyone knew in that room that that wasn't good. Telling them that I had cancer was probably the hardest thing out of everything. Um, yeah. That was really hard having to sit down. And I wasn't going to use the word cancer, but then I read the leaflets and they say that you should do. And that feels really scary when you're having to sit down and use that word to your two young children. They have been so resilient and they're very, um, they're quite funny as well. Uh, they have been really supportive of me. Um, they're really proud of me, they tell me, for the fact that I'm, I'm keeping positive and that I'm still me. And they remind me of that. So they've been really brilliant. And also my husband has been amazing. Um, it's been really hard for him because you don't, that's not what you, you know, you don't expect this to come into your marriage. So I decided that I wanted to use my blog to share my experiences of going through bowel cancer and what it feels like. And um, hopefully by me talking about my symptoms, it will prompt some people to go to the doctors earlier and hopefully they won't find themselves in the situation that I am. People are too embarrassed to go to the doctors because they don't want to drop their pants, because they don't want the doctor to look there. But actually that's a very small price to pay if it's going to save your life. And those doctors have seen so many bottoms, they really don't care about seeing yours. Um, so I, yeah, I think it's really important that we talk about it. We don't have time to be getting shy about our poo. Um, what For me, what I found helped, and this is gonna sound gross, but taking pictures, take a picture of like one of your poos, um, because you can go into the doctors, you can say, oh, I've got loose bowel movements, but what does that actually mean? It's really hard to, exp you know, to explain sometimes. So if you've got a picture there and you can show them straight away, they can see that there's an issue and you're more likely to be taken seriously. 